Alright, if you uh, have a loose steering wheel, the vehicle feels like it's not you know, steering correctly, one thing you want to check is tie rod ends, and you also want to check, try to check your ball joints. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Somebody help you, and they can turn the steering wheel. One of you can turn the steering wheel, and the other person can watch the steering links out there and see if uh, there's a lot of slop or if the links kind of jump while the steering wheel is turned. You just kind of do short, quick turns with the steering wheel. I'll try to show you. Somebody's just going to want to take the steering wheel and just kind of back and forth. Just wiggle the wheel kind of fast. And then you watch and see if those links jump around on you underneath there at the you know, tie rod ends and back on the inner tie rod ends on the center link. You want the wheels off the ground. Okay, what you want to do is just kind of grab the wheel in the front and the back and just kind of wiggle the wheel like you're trying to turn it by hand and see if you get any play in the steering wheel. And there should be just a little bit there. That's to check the tie rod ends. Now the way to check the ball joints is to grab the top and the bottom and push in and out like you're trying to turn the wheel you know, top to bottom. See if there's any play. A little bit of play is okay, it's normal. Um, but if it feels like you're getting a lot, then either ball joints, if you're doing the top, or your tie rod ends, if you're doing the sides, are bad. Depending on where you get to play it. Now, if you get play top and bottom all the way around, you could also have a wheel bearing. But, you know, if you're getting a lot of slop in the stereo when you turn it, then more than likely it's the tie rod ends. Now I'm going to show you where the tie rod ends are. Up under here in the front. Right out by the wheel. The tie rod end is inside here. If there's a good picture of it. That's it. Hang the light right there for you. The tie rod end connects to right here. This piece. But what you can do also is you can grab a hold of the bar tie rod ends out there and you can shove up and down on the bar and if you feel it move like jump then you know your tie rod ends bad which should cause your slop in your steering wheel now, like I said this is looking on the inside of the wheel your tie rod end is right here and this rod coming down is connected to your steering linkage You want to check up in there too. Tie rod ends at the other end of this rod here. This would be like the inner tie rod end for your steering linkage. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it connects to another bar. This should be your center link. I'm going to go underneath here. Now there's that inner tie rod end there on the left. And it's connected to your pitman arm is what your steering wheel turns. It's your steering box. It's hard to see up in there. Anyway, that center link goes on over the right and it connects to the other tie rod end on the passenger side. There's that center link. And there's the right side. And there's your inner tie rod end. And your outer tie rod end is out by the wheel. It's hard to see. There's your outer tie rod end out there.